The drama between Jack's film and Sniper Wolf is still brewing. Those that don't know who Jack's film is, he's an OG YouTuber. He started YouTube actually June 26th of 2006, but he currently has 4.7 million subscribers. And if you guys don't know who Sniper Wolf is, she started YouTube in 2013 with gaming videos and then she transitioned to reaction videos. She currently has 33.9 million subscribers. And Sniper Wolf has been in a lot of drama and a lot of people tend to see her as as a bad guy. Working so hard on something, like putting your whole life, devoting your whole life to it. And people just shoot you down saying, no, it's not yours. You didn't do that. They don't give you the credit for it. What happened to the boosted Overwatch player? It's all just vanished into like bland Buzzfeed style fluff pieces. She hasn't tried to better herself over all of these years. If she didn't criticize other women relentlessly for doing these things, I don't think anyone would care that she does. No yeah, yeah. But this whole beef between Sniper Wolf and Jack Swim started when Sniper Wolf actually bought a $7 million mansion and then Jack's film actually did a parody account, second YouTube channel that was a parody about Sniper Wolf reacting to other people's content. So a lot of people, including Jack, were wondering, yo, are Sniper Wolf's videos fair use or content theft? But we're gonna leave it up to the public. Do you guys think this is a reaction slash commentary video? This dude is running sideways. What? Very minimal commentary on this and she's literally explaining what we're seeing right now. A lot of people do the same thing. I'm not here to bash Sniper Wolf. I already know she has a lot of people doing that, but we are looking at the other side, at Jack's film side, because I do agree it sucks when people get this whole bunch of money for not doing a damn thing and just looking at a video explaining what is happening in front of our faces and then not even giving credit to the original content creator. Yeah, that's kind of whack. So obviously this whole beef started on Twitter. Oh, wait, wait, wait. I mean X now. Yes, it's called X for some reason. So it started on X when YouTube actually decided to tweet out Sniper Wolf gets her content ideas from her fans and all hell broke loose. So let's take you through the tweets one by one because I'm telling you it's a lot of tweets. So here's an original tweet from YouTube creator saying, where does Sniper Wolf get video ideas from fans? Here's what she she had to say at the VidCon and 23 YouTube keynote. It's really important for me to engage with my audience. I get a lot of content ideas from them in the comments. It's important to grow and adapt as a creator. Okay, so now I see why Jack is a little hurt. Bro, why are you going to have a person that just reacts to videos go to VidCon and say how successful you are. I mean, I get it. She has 33.9 million followers. She's doing something right. At the same time, other people, other content creators actually do the work. When Sniper Wolf maybe just goes on TikTok and grabs any viral video to react to it with very minimal commentary. So here's where Jack's film quote tweeted it and just gave some emojis, sunglasses, thumbs up with a heart. And then Leah, AKA Sniper Wolf saying, I'm going to have to start charging you 20% since you get your ideas from me. And she had the audacity to compare herself to Mr. Peace. 90% of what I upload are my ideas. People copy me, then people like you get confused. Oh, what? Mi are you really saying Mr. Beast copies you? Like. Honestly, like if anything, people copy him. This is actually wild that she compared herself to Mr. Beast or Mr. Beast compared her. Bro, you're, you're wild. And Jack replies, honestly, don't know what she's talking about here. Unless it is a J -J -J Jack's film. Because if so, man, wait until you learn about satire. And then someone came to Jack's film defense and said this. Jack's films made a satire channel and she is now mad. He responds, satire is supposed to be funny. It's a way to undermine what I do. Just wanted an excuse to copy me thinking it could be easy money for him. He just gave up because the videos ended up getting 30K views. Guess it's harder than it looks, huh? Did she really say satire is supposed to be funny? Like, bro, but like I said, I'm not trying to hate here. I'm not trying to hate. And here's when she decides to go back to middle school and clown on Mr. Jack's film. He goes, this tweet came from a YouTuber with 33.6 million subs, an adult YouTuber. And he was replying to, the only thing that is funny about you is your hairline. If your content was entertaining, it would reflect in your views. Bro, how would it sniper wolf? Like, really? You have nothing better up to come with than to insult someone's looks? It's still funny to me that people that can't come up with good comebacks just start insulting how you look. <laughs>
<laughs> AKA Sniper Wolf. And yes, there's obviously more tweets. Sniper Wolf responds to a Jack Swim's tweet. Uh, so Jack goes, I invent him reacting to other people's TikToks. Anyone else is copying me. Quotation marks. Incredible mental gymnastics. Hey, at YouTube and Vicon, are you sure you're okay boosting her? Are you absolutely sure? Then she quote tweets and says, Wow, I can't stand that female YouTuber is getting more views than me, even though I make the same content. Grr, life is hard. And down here it says, for context, Jax Phil made another channel where he copied my content for a few months, thinking it would be it would blow up and get millions of views. It did it. Now he's mad. Like I mentioned, Jax Film did this purposely not to grow this channel but to make fun of the fact that sniper wolf steals content doesn't do a lot of work in her videos and still gets paid millions of dollars and listen i might sound like a big ass hater because this is uh everyone's dream getting millions of views on youtube and not really doing much of uh work just sitting down reacting to videos saying what's gonna happen in the video or what's happening in the video yeah Everybody would want that. But let's get back into this whole drama because there's more tweets. She goes, bro is stuck in 2013 and wonders why people don't think he's funny anymore. Also, I hate bringing gender into this, but no one ever attacks the male react channels. Listen, there's been a lot of criticism over the male react channels. And I, I mean, there's a long list. One that comes up to mind right now is Hassan. He gets a lot of hate from other people. But like I said, that's just one I could think of right now. I'm just invested in this drama. So let's just jump back into this. Jack's film, um, I believe he uploaded a 12 minute video where he exposes Sniper Wolf for stealing content and not really being great at it. This is Sniper Wolf. She's a YouTuber with over 30 million subscribers. She uploads daily and her videos get at least a million views each. So what does she do? She steals TikToks and reacts to them. If you want to support the original creators of the TikToks, uh, too bad because the only links you'll find in the description are all Sniper Wolf. And my favorite part is that half of the TikToks she includes either crop out the original username or just straight up don't have one. To use a recent example from just three days ago, she features 19 videos, 13 of which don't have any identifiable usernames. That means there's no way to find and support the original creators here. All of the views and all of the revenue go straight to Sniper Wolf. You know the phrase, work smarter, not harder? Well, Sniper Wolf does neither. She just steals. Y'all get the point. If you guys want to see the whole video, go to Jack's film. He has it. And I'm telling you, it's very entertaining. But yes, this is one of my pet peeves when people don't give the credit where it's due. And I also seen people where, yo, they find a random TikTok and they still blur the watermark. Like, for what? So you guys be the judge of this. Is this a fair use or stealing content? But guys, as always, leave me your comments, concerns, and opinions down below. I would love to know what you guys think of this. And do you also think Jack's film is being a little petty? Maybe a little jealousy? I don't know. But other than that, guys, please consider subscribing to my channel. My goal is to hit 10K pretty soon. So yeah, I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.